Um, throughout southern and southeast Asia, including East and India, and southern China, and they now live in the Everglades and our mangroves. They eat birds and mammals. The snake usually uses its backwards facing teeth to grab its prey and then strangle it. They got here because people were importing them and then they sold them to keep them as pets. And when they got too big, they released them into the Everglades. Many people have started to set up python derbies in the Everglades to see who ever can kill the most Burmese pythons. They even have one going on in the Everglades right now. Um, the curly-tailed lizard was originally from the Caribbean in the Bahamas. It was it came here to eat insects. As you can see by its tail, that's where it got its name from. The reason why its tail is curled is so that when a predator is trying to eat it, it'll eat the tail and not the body, and the tail can regrow in a week or two. Um, they are in Kingdom Animalia in Phylum. Cordata. They were, they're mostly around the Delray and Palm Beach district. Um, they have almost tripled their population size since they came here in the early 1940s and they can grow to be around 8 inches or 17 centimeters long. You guys probably seen like those brown lizards in your backyard or somewhere, like a beach or anything. Well they're called like the brown anoles and they're in an invasive species, they originally came from like the Bahamas and Caribbean islands on like ships to like deliver goods. And you can find them anywhere, like basking in the sun. And their relative, like the green animal, was like native to here, but now they're kind of like kicking them out by like destroying their food chain. And yeah. The white fish aren't from. The white fish aren't from Florida, they're from the Cayman Islands. I was there first spot in 2009, but there are more being spotted in Florida now. They are extremely bad to the local environment due to the fact that their only predators are sharks. Sharks, and they have, other than that, they have no predators, which means they're allowed to eat as much as they want, which causes a lot of damage to the ecosystem, and they're allowed to reproduce way too much. Which the best way is to support a rule that says if you see one, you have to kill them on site. That's a question. Alright, um, why are they called lionfish? <laughs> Just look at, like, right here on the body, right next to their head. Sort of looks like hair. Oh, the mane. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, where can you find, like, these lizards? In your backyard. In your backyard. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>